So um, I'm fixing to print this file off for y'all so y'all can see it and just, um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. We ain't done much with it. Matter of fact, this is the first real file that I printed. So this is a file that I'm doing right here. This is a slicing program or a laser cutting program like you have, you know, Cura for 3D printers to slice the model up. Well, you've got a laser a burning software that, um, uh, you know, programs the thing to, to print it. So, um, yeah, just thought I'd show this to you and thought it'd be pretty cool. So, uh, of course, you know, you want to, uh, you want to close the lid so you don't uh, get the laser and I'm hoping I can get it over there to you to where you can see it. Um, of course the laser is dangerous. So, but, uh, you do have a separate button to actually turn the laser on, um, which is there. You've got, uh, the main power you've got a pump here water pump that cools the laser and then you got another switch here for air compressor uh, that blows air on it um, and so um, yeah I can do it locally uh, to here with the USB or I can do it directly from a computer so here we go let's see how it happens That is cutting it right now. Must be something on the glass there. So it's just doing this little image on the glass. Um, of course, it's uh, uh, burning. Um, and now I guess I need to open up the thing because it is, uh, which is burning the wood, it kind of stinks, so I had to, I got a little fan here. Of course, there's a little fan inside here that pulls the air out of it uh, and then blows it out through this little exhaust down here. So I got the exhaust coming out, blowing it out right over there. Uh, my water bucket, distilled water, it cycles uh, water to keep the laser cool. And then a little air compressor that pushes air out the bottom of it. Um, So I think I can speed this up some. Of course, you know, I think I've printed out one thing. This is the second thing I've printed. So, uh, a little bit slower. I think it can go a little bit faster than 3D printing. Um, I don't think it's going to cut it out. It may, but I doubt it. Uh, still kind of working on uh, them settings. Got to learn this uh, laser burning software. Um, there's different um, there's different laser power that you can turn it like right now uh, this is printing at 20% um, laser power and then um, the outside edges are printing at or cutting supposed to cut it's not gonna cut it though but it's at 60% uh, which is about the max they say to go um, because the harder you run the laser the um, uh, the faster the laser will go out, so that's sort of like a you know filament. Um, you'll have to change out that laser so often. Um, the laser, um, I'll have to bring it around. Um, it's a big laser tube across the back. I'll show it to you. Set this down here. All right, so I'll show you the laser here in the back. That is the laser. See, it's shooting the laser out the back. That is crazy. That is crazy. Look at it. 
Let's look like something from sci-fi movie. So I've got this on a little Harbor Freight cart so I can roll it around um, and plus keep a nice little thing in the bottom. So if, like during the summer when it gets really hot, I can move it outside the garage. <laughs> this is awesome. So you can see the smoke in there. Um, of course, I've got some glasses to where you're not supposed to look at the laser, which I'm not looking at the laser because, well, uh, the camera is. And supposedly this shield here uh, will keep it from uh, uh, reflecting. So I'm just kind of wondering if it's going to uh, cut it out around the side. I doubt it though, but. He like said this is only at 20% laser power, whereas the one going around is supposed to be 60%, which is, they say that's as far as you want to go. It's getting close, it's almost done. So it kind of traces it out on here well it's not really not like normal I think this is at a hundred millimeters per second which you know uh, on the 3d printing we're normally doing about 60 to 90 millimeters per second uh, of course that's doing multiple layers so this image right here is just something I picked off of Google, um, uh, just a Google search for pictures. I don't remember why I got this image, um, but uh, and then I just imported it in this laser program, and then uh, you can split apart the image depending on how kind of laser uh, power you want. Of course, I haven't learned any of that stuff yet. That's the image is kind of funny. Drop this is a potato. Okay, now it's gonna now it's gonna go around and it's put it at 60% laser in order to try to cut it. Uh, I know this is not gonna cut it, but it's gonna be a lot deeper mark for sure. It looks like it's going around uh, four times. It may have cut it. But I don't think so. I think I've tried it before and it didn't cut it. So that finished up. So the first thing you want to do is you want to turn off the laser itself first. That way it can't accidentally fire. So once I turn this switch off, that will stop the laser from coming on. Um, just raise her up here. And there it is. Um, now I didn't cut it all the way through. Went through. It, it did seem to push it through. Got that little dark there. 
Oh, it actually, actually did almost cut it through. Huh. Well, I'll see if I can't push it out and get the rest of it out, but there you go. Laser engraver. Drop it like it's hot. 